Hello, in uh, this uh, short video I would like to introduce the resources that we would like to share with you about how we organize uh, the economic dissertation module for undergraduate students um, here at the University of East Anglia. Um, my name is Fabio Rico, I'm the uh, teaching director of the School of Economics here at East Anglia and I'm a professor of higher education and economics and I work in a team uh, for uh, the delivery and the management of the dissertation module with uh, Matthew Aldrich. He um, is an associate professor here with us and is also the UEA academic director for uh, employability. And you can find here our details and you are most welcome to contact us. Um, so um, we, we prepare a two case study um, which uh, um, Matthew uh, authored for you. Um, the first one was part of a um, uh, employability uh, set of resources published by the Economics Network uh, in the past. Um, and uh, this is integrated with the second case study where we um, discuss uh, in further detail uh, issues related with uh, COVID-19 and, um, and arrangements that we made uh, to, uh, to teach in a remote way, as well as um, further elements of uh, uh, service learning. So, uh, let's talk about the first case study. We in introduce uh, the, the, the core feature of the module in, uh, in this case study. Uh, the module is uh, a, a third year module for um, undergraduate students. It's year long and it's 20 credits. And it's organized as follows. In, uh, in the first semester, we um, provide uh, research skill development uh, with the weekly workshops. So Matt and I take uh, turns in teaching these workshops. They are two hours long. And, and students are actually exposed to a various set of topics like uh, literature review or how to build a good research question or um, uh, methodologies uh, to uh, source and analyze data, ethical uh, concerns as well. Um, and they are assigned practice tasks uh, and there is a very strong component of uh, peer learning as well where we invite them to discuss. And at the end of the first semester the training ends with a student conference where uh, each student is invited to provide a 10 minutes presentation of their research idea, uh, including motivation, methodology, the data that they're going to use, if any. Um, and there is a very strong, important component of self-assessment of where they are and where they're going to, supposed to be, as well as interaction and peer feedback uh, within the conference as well. In uh, the second semester, students are then matched with the supervisor according to research interest and uh, individual relationships or supervision actually take place. Um, after the final submission, um, double marking takes place. So um, what, what we find really rewarding and really important is that students recognize the value of peer learning and peer feedback and, and, and we are able to establish a very positive environment where students uh, exchange ideas. Um, the other important component is that we have a work-based variant of this dissertation so students can actually opt to uh, work um, along with a business or a charity and uh, the submission format is less academic and takes more uh, the shape of a business report to actually reflect the kind of environment the students have um, uh, interacted with them. Um, in the second case study, um, we, we, we expand a little more on, on, uh, on this feature. Um, and we discuss about uh, adjustments and announcements uh, to the dissertation module. Um, the, uh, of course, the, the, the requirements of social distancing and uh, remote teaching have, have made so that we are going to translate all the skill development um, and the tasks that students are expected to perform uh, in an online environment. And we are going to make sure uh, that we uh, employ asynchronous uh, learning and, and, and asynchronous interaction yet preserving a peer feedback component. And, 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 and of course, um, in, uh, in this kind of environment, where we, we are going to make sure to organize resources pretty much as the one that are uh, here for you in, in, uh, in this symposium, where we have moments of exchange, as well as moments where uh, colleagues or students can actually um, uh, uh, assimilate the resources on their own. Um, we are very fond of the self-reflection and self-assessment components of the module and, and, and we are going to um, preserve these components via a learning journal that is going to be managed through our DLE. Um, we use Blackboard here at UEA. 
and we're gonna make sure that she has actually entered their um, uh, logs where where they uh, are going to uh, discuss the progress and we are going to be able to respond to these uh, entries so there's going to be a sort of dialogic um, uh, conversation feedback going on along with the teaching team um, we are also very much valuing the service learning component of the dissertation module and um, and we see this as a very good replacement for our uh, placement uh, program, which of course um, is, going to, uh, is going to run in reduced capacity due to, due to the issues that we are experiencing with uh, the management of the pandemic. So, um, um, wherever we, it's not possible to provide placement for our students uh, in, in, a, in a safe environment, we are going to invite them to, um, uh, to embrace the dissertation component with service learning uh, to fit this purpose and, and, and yet we're going to be able to nurture the development of employability skills. Um, this, this is pretty much uh, um, uh, an highlight of the resources that we made available for you. We invite you to, to read the uh, case study that are, that are linked uh, to these resources and uh, once again we uh, are going to welcome uh, email or tweets uh, please feel free to contact us and we are going to be uh, able to support you and share even more material and ideas if you wish to develop uh, this kind of um, uh, module or this kind of uh, setup and learning environment for your students.